Hi, everybody. Welcome to Reader's Intrigue, where authors are going to read the first chapter of their book so that we can be intrigued and maybe find a new book to read. Get comfy, get cozy. Let's listen. Hello, my name is Lynn Harley. I'm a certified social worker, transformational life coach, author, and motivational speaker. And it's my delight and joy to be here with you today. This summer, I became a published author of a book that I felt very inspired to write. Although this book is written as a children's book, What If You Could has a message for all ages and stages of life. In fact, the essence of this book is what I coach my clients through. It's about a little caterpillar who desires more for his life and begins to dream big. And as he prepares to grow and leave his comfort zone, he hears from two internal voices. One is warm and loving and generates a sense of excitement about possibility. This voice invites, what if you could? And then there's another voice. And this one discourages and scolds him and says, who do you think you are? This is the voice of doubt and worry. Have you ever heard of this one? I know that I have. My what if you could this summer was to cycle 2000 kilometers across Canada to promote not just this book, but an organization, jack.org, that supports youth with mental health. Sadly, 25% of our youth will die from suicide. A portion of each book that I'm selling will be donated to this organization. And the message is really that when we live with mental health and wellness, we're better able to know which voice to listen to, the one that is kind and loving and true. So now I'm gonna share a little bit about my book and I hope that this sparks you to purchase it for someone that you care about or maybe even it's a message that you wanna remind yourself every day. So here we go. What if you could? One gray and rainy morning, a caterpillar, as caterpillars do, was eating a big green leaf. He was crunching, munching, thinking too. Feeling bored and very full on this gray and gloomy day, the caterpillar heard from an inner voice that had quite a lot to say. Every day you wake up and there's nothing fun to do. You have been eating leaves for days now. It's time for something new. The caterpillar was big now and hanging upside down. He no longer had an appetite, so he looked up and all around. He saw squirrels chattering noisily, playing a game of hide and seek, and hungry baby robins gobbling worms from their mother's beak. White and yellow wildflowers swayed freely in the breeze, and a red-headed woodpecker tapped tap on the bark of the trees. My life feels plum and dull as rain. My coat is dreary too. No fun, no color, no one to play with. No wonder I feeling blue. Feeling longing and some discontent, the caterpillar sighed. I want more for this life of mine. Could I find it if I tried? And I think I'm gonna leave you hanging at that point. And just really encourage you to buy the book knowing that a portion of every book I sell will support jack.org. It's a wonderful gift for anybody, a child, a grandchild, a graduate, a friend who's going through a struggle, maybe even yourself. So thank you for your time and attention and check out lynnharley.com and you'll find links to purchase my book there. Thank you. Thank you again to the amazing author that read us a story and be sure to check out all the other amazing shows on RB Media. Till next time. Bye.